All right, looking for some good information on those brand new MacBook Pros that just came out. This is information you may not know about and Apple didn't cover in their presentation. Stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. If you're watching this video, you're probably really interested in those new MacBook Pros that just came out, the 14 inch and the 16 inch. There's a lot of information that Apple presented, obviously, but there's a lot of information they didn't cover. And I got maybe six or seven different things that was not covered in that presentation. And these are gonna be things from ben the initial benchmarks of the devices, you know, using Geekbench, so stay tuned for that. And then also some kind of uh, modes that you can turn on in these new systems that they didn't cover as well. So if you're interested in these systems, just stay tuned. I'm gonna go through like six or seven of them, just one through six or seven. Let's get into it. All right, number one, if you're buying the highest model, which is gonna be not only the 16 inch, it has to be the 16 inch with the M1 Max, M-A-X, M1 Max. If you're buying that model, there's gonna be something on that model that's called high power mode. Apple didn't cover this, but it's gonna be a mode that really kind of ramps things up if you're doing something that requires that extra power. It's gonna be kind of opposite the low power mode. It's gonna be a high power mode, and it's gonna only be with the M1 Max on the 16 inch. It's a mode that they're building into it, and it's gonna be coming out, it's been reported, so, that's number one. Number two, Apple didn't really say this, but realistically for SDR or standard definition content, the peak brightness on these new monitors, these mini LEDs, is only gonna be 500 nits of brightness. Now when you get into HDR, which is gonna be obviously you know, high definition or it's gonna be HDR, when you get into that type of content that you're viewing, then it's peak brightness up to 1600 nits. So a lot of people think it's gonna be like 1000 or 1600 if you're just watching standard content. According to what's coming out now, it's 500 nits is typically what you're gonna see most of unless you're viewing HDR, and that's number two. All right, number three. A lot of people are gonna think this is kind of a, you know, I guess a disappointment, but if you're looking at the little SD card that's gonna be in these systems, it can support up to 250 megabytes per second in speed, and that's gonna be if you're using UHS-2. So if you use that kind of a card, it's gonna be up to 250 megabytes per second. But if you're using UHS-1, and those are the slower you know, SD cards that you can buy. It's only gonna be up to 90 megabytes per second, you know, read and write. So again, a lot of people thought this would be a lot faster for that card, but that's what it's gonna be, you know, that's being reported right now and reporting by Apple. So it is what it is, but it's better than nothing. Oh yeah, and the size can be up to 256 gigabytes in size. So not bad if you wanna add another 256 gigabytes of storage. All right, number four is gonna be a two-part one. So these new, these new systems do not support external GPUs. And again, that's probably to be expected, but they won't do it just like the M1 couldn't. These can as well, so no external GPUs. But you may not need to. So what I'm gonna show you here is I'm gonna to have to read off my list here. But looking at uh, Geekbench, if you're looking at Geek, Geekbench metal scores, they're going ahead and looking at these, these new um, M1 Max chips. It looks like they're scoring, this is estimated coming out from there, 68,870 on Geekbench 5 Metal. So 68,000. Put that in perspective, the M1 13 inch MacBook Pro did around 20,000. So it's about three times as fast as that. And the highest you know, Intel system from the 16 inch a couple years back using an Intel uh, CPU and also using a GPU that actually was an actual GPU, uh, looked like it was only 42,000. So obviously that's about 60 something percent faster there as well. So these are gonna be really fast on metal. So there's some good benchmarks for you. Metal benchmark 68,000 and some change up there really fast. All right, to continue the benchmarks, let's talk about the one that everyone wants to know about, Geekbench 5, single core, multi-core. So the single core, and again, this is gonna be a mix between the Pro and the M1 Max, so somewhere in the middle here. They're gonna be around 1750, somewhere in that range, 1780. So some of the fastest single core you see out there in Geekbench 5. Multi-core though is where it shines on these systems, all these cores. So if you look down again, it's gonna be between 12,100 and 12,900 between the M1 Pro and the M1 Max. And you're looking, you know, that's gonna be kind of a range there that they're seeing. And that's gonna be multi-core Geekbench 5 scores. Really, really fast, obviously. Um, you know, I think it was like, what is it, six or 7,000 on the M1 or something. So huge, huge increases here. A lot of speed increases on everything. So I don't think CPU is gonna be an issue any longer. All right, number five is the trackpad. A lot of people ask me about that. It's gonna be the exact same trackpad in the prior versions, no changes whatsoever. So if you liked that before, you're gonna like it now. It's not, you know, obviously it's a very, very good trackpad, huge. Works perfect, so I don't know why they'd even try changing that. So anyways, that's what it is, and if you like it, you know, that's all, move on. If you don't, then you're gonna have to wait another year. 
All right, and the final one, this is number six, is gonna be pricing. So when Apple came out with you know, their presentation, they showed you 10 core, and you can go up from there. 10 core CPUs, they said, and then they said uh, starts at 16 core GPU. But that's not really true. Apple did it to you again. If you go to the pricing, I'll, I'll pull up my screen here, but if you go up to the pricing, you're gonna see really really quickly, if you go with the 1999 model, which is the 14 inch base model, basically, you're only gonna get, let me see here, it's gonna go down to, uh, let me see here, eight, what is this? eight cores for the CPU, and it's gonna go down to 14 cores for the GPU. So you're gonna get eight instead of 10, and you're gonna get 14 GPU cores instead of the 16. Apple didn't really say that in the presentation, nor did they say it until it basically came up on the website where you can purchase it. So while they're kind of claiming, oh, 10 core, 10 kind of, you know, obviously you can see it's not in some cases. So they're doing that to you again. I don't know if that's a pro or a con or whatever, because obviously, I mean, it's a con really, because you thought you could get that for 1,900 or 2,000 bucks, but now you gotta spend another couple hundred bucks to get up there. It is what it is, and it is Apple. And then just to wrap this up, let's see what the supply chain is. I mean, obviously everyone knows the whole U.S., and especially in the United States, the supply chains have been just really bad right now. Not sure, you know, depending on the order and stuff, you may want to get your order in early in these systems because these may not be, uh, you know, they might have trouble shipping them out later in the year, near Christmas, or even early next year. So try to get yours early. I think it's coming out in a couple of weeks here. And by the time you watch this or if you're watching this, you know, in a week or two, it's already out. But they're going to come out, and they're going to have a lot of them in the beginning, but they may wane off after a little while. So let me know what you guys think. Is this information you knew about? Is it not? Do you guys like this kind of content? Just always check with my viewers just to see what they want, what they like in videos like this. So hopefully you like it. Anyways, I will talk to you soon. I know I make videos, geez, two to three a week maybe, somewhere in there. Hopefully a little bit more sooner or later than, you know, hopefully I'm going to kind of ramp it up maybe next year, 2022. So send me some topics you want to see, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.